Welcome to fifth day of our Labyrinth Lord Stanley coverage here at Draft Utopia. And there were four games on today, and I'd say this was the least interesting day of playoff action in terms of scoring goals. If you're a fan of teams scoring goals, then this was the most boring day by far. If you like seeing defensive minded games, goaltenders making critical saves, then this was your type of typical Saturday in the NHL playoffs. The New York Rangers faced the Washington Capitals in the first game. That game went to overtime. Great defense and goaltending by both teams. Mike Green scores in overtime. The Capitals take a 2-0 lead in the series. Not surprised since I said the Capitals would sweep the New York Rangers. The Capitals, the Chicago Blackhawks, the Pittsburgh Penguins were three of my teams to sweep their opponents. Pittsburgh failed to do that, but Chicago went up 2-0 on Friday, and I I think I said Anaheim might sweep the Red Wings too, I'm not sure. But the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins, neither team scored in the first period. Nate Thornton scores in the second period. Joffrey Lupel of the Toronto Maple Leafs scores two goals, giving Toronto a 2-1 lead. Phil Kessel and Johnny Boychuk score, then Van James Van Riemsdyk scores for Toronto. The Maple Leafs would win that game 4-2, go back to Toronto, and the series is tied at 1. I believe those t Toronto plays in the Air Canada Center. And the Anaheim Ducks versus the Detroit Red Wings. Anaheim wins 4-0. Jonas Hiller makes some critical saves that helped Anaheim out by getting the shutout. Detroit needs to win Game 4 to avoid Game 5 elimination at the Joe Louis Arena. It's something that the Red Wings failed to do. They had an opportunity to go up 2-1 with the Joe Louis Arena in Game 3. And they gave the Ducks the momentum. So now the Red Wings are in that must-win situation. And finally, you had the St. Louis Blues and the Los Angeles Kings. First period was scoreless. The Kings got a goal in the second period, and then Jonathan Quick saves. The pound drew Dowdy the way the Kings played at the Staples Center. Everybody stepped up, did their part, and the Kings won a game to avoid a potential sweep. I had the Blues winning the series in five, six games, and the Blues did their part. So, pretty quick series. And again, this is a, since it's the weekend, I decided to sport some lids. Today I'm wearing the Speculation Sports hat. Tomorrow I'll be wearing another hat, which will remain anonymous. Speculation Sports. We speculate you win. So, you can check out their podcast on Blog Talk Radio and Talk Shoe. This is Chris Ransom of Draft Utopia. Check out DraftUtopia.com. So, good night.